Hi, welcome to our website. We treat people that have chronic metabolic and chronic neurological conditions in our office, and I want to welcome you to our website. What makes our office different from every other office that you've ever been to? We treat people neurologically, and we treat people metabolically. I'm here to tell you that we need leave no stone unturned to determine the exact cause of your health condition. Okay. I'm Dr. John Parker. I'm a chiropractic physician. I've been practicing for 12 years. I have 300 postgraduate hours from the, through the Carrick Institute of Graduate Studies in Chiropractic Neurology. I've studied functional blood chemistry, functional endocrinology, and functional neurotransmitters under Dr. Tatis Karazin. Dr. Karazin is the author of this book, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? This is a phenomenal book. I've spent the last two years studying under Dr. Karazin. I've also studied under Dr. Michael Johnson. Dr. Michael Johnson is the, the author of what do, you, what do You Do When the Medications Don't Work? A Non-Dug Treatment for, of Dizziness, Migraine Headaches, Fibromyalgia, and Other Chronic Conditions. Again, I consult with over 600 doctors regularly through Dr. Johnson's group. I've studied with Apex Energetics, Biomedical and Nutritional Products, for treatment of chronic conditions. So when people come see me, they have a combination of what's wrong with them. Their combination of what's wrong is a split between neurological problems and metabolical problems, metabolical function, metabolic breakdowns. And what makes us different is when I work with these people, I work on a spectrum of different chronic problems, but we run tests to thoroughly break down and dissect and find their areas of malfunction. People that come see me have thyroid conditions, they have metabolic syndrome, they have fibromyalgia, vertigo, insulin resistance, sugar dysregulation is probably one of the biggest things wrong in our society today. They have chronic fatigue, peripheral neuropathy, stenosis, irritable bowel syndrome, gut problems are rampant in the people I see, insomnia, they have celiac disease, polycystic ovarian sy syndrome with in infertility, they have ADD, autism spectrum, I take care of kids on that spectrum, okay. There's a common link with those problems neurologically and metabolically. The people that come see me that have those problems have problems with fuel delivery in the form of oxygen. They're oxygen deficiency. Your brain needs two things. They need fuel, the brain needs fuel and it needs activation, okay. Fuel in the form of regulated glucose, oxygen and neurotransmitters and hormones. Activation through proper stimuli. Most people have deficiencies in fuel delivery and have deficiency in good stimuli, especially when you look at what's wrong with everything in our society. We're bombarded, we have chronic stress. Stressors are in different factors. So they come and they have oxygen deficiencies. They have neurological misfirings and I do a good neurological assessment to find areas of breakdown no, they don't have hard lesions, some of them do, but the people that I typically work with, they have soft lesions, meaning when I look at people from a neurological standpoint, they have neurological areas that are not functioning well. So when I do an assessment with them neurologically, I look at them from a brain-based standpoint. We look at their ability to balance. We look at their ability to perform tasks. We look at their parietal lobes, because the parietal lobes are how is the sensation of all your body, the mapping, how is it affecting you, your temporal lobe? When we look at the temporal lobe, we look at the ability to remember faces. Do we look at cognitive decline? We look at different things like that. When we look at people metabolically, blood sugar regulation is undoubtedly the biggest problem we have across the board in our health care, our health crisis in America today. We have two types of problems with sh sugars. We have hyperglycemia uh, and we have hypoglycemia. So people who are having diabetes has quadrupled in the last 25 years. Our food chain is rampant with simple sugars that are too absorbable. High fructose corn syrup bypasses part of the insulin regulation system and gets into the cells. Uh, they have excess and we have a fattening of America because, because of it. We also have a problem with fuel delivery with people that are hypoglycemic. Hypoglycemic can be just as bad as too much sugars. 
Hypoglycemic means you're running out of fuel between meals and you're having a crash. Your brain knows it, your actions speak it, and your autonomic system goes crazy because of it. It has such a hard time handling that. Cortisol. Cortisol is released. It's your stress hormone. It's released from the it's a, it's a gland that sits on your kidneys. It's released and it's released in excess until it's depleted. So people have problems with cortisol regulation. They have hormonal imbalances and there's a direct impact between the stresses, sugar regulation, cortisol regulation, hormonal imbalances. People are anemic. They're not getting enough ability for the cells to carry oxygen to the tissues and to the brain. Another big part, especially what I see with uh, hypothyroid people, is autoimmune tax, and we're going to go through that in just a few minutes. So their their immune system is actually attacking their, their, their themselves. It's lost the ability to differentiate self from non-self, and one of the areas it attacks is the thyroid. Big part of a uh, problem with thyroid in America, probably about 75% of the cases are Hashimoto's uh, autoimmune th thyroiditis and it doesn't get managed because the way we manage uh, thyroid problems in the United States is just a hormone replacement so it's not managing your autoimmune problem and the problem with that is that autoimmune process if it doesn't get investigated and checked continues on and it starts attacking other tissues food sensitivities we run panels on people looking for food sensitivities I run some panels looking for genetic sensitivities to food so thyroid dysfunction is really a sign of metabolic dysfunction. That's why proper testing is critical. Most tests are in, insufficient and the things that, because they manage it from a standpoint of what's the most cost-effective way to manage it and cover up the symptom. Okay. When we run tests on people, I run full metabolic panels. We look for complete thyroid profiles. We look for vitamin D levels, anemias, we check kidney function. We, we run uh, immune panels and when we run our immune panels we're looking at the two parts of your immune system, your Th1 and your Th2 system. Your Th1 system, your T helper cells, your Th2 system is your antibody cells. They're, they make the markers, Th1 system, that's your SWAT team that attacks things and they have to be working in a dynamic interaction. People have problems and what happens is part of their immune system gets imbalanced and they can have dysregulation or they can have an active invader, an antigen that's driving their immune system beyond the attack. So we run immune panels and we look at that. We run panels to look at the nutritional support for the regulatory side of your nervous system, I mean your immune system too. We run an adrenal stress index on, on my patients. The adrenal stress index is a reflection of your cortisol level and your cortisol relationship to your di diurnal sleep rhythm cycle. People get chronically stressed. That stress way affects your hypothalamic pituitary 